midweek service. Good to be with you. So good to be with you. Thank you for joining us. We had an awesome seminar Friday with the couples, and uh, we just want to keep the momentum going Mm -hmm. and talk to you about fighting fair in marriage. And I really want to appreciate uh, Pastor Tony and Pastor Gwen. We love and appreciate them. Thank you for the opportunity for allowing us to talk with the couples tonight. Yes. And yes. Uh, we've been married for 35 years. 35 and, uh, years. The only only way we can do this is talk about my mistakes, <laughs> our mistakes, <laughs> and all of our experiences. Yeah. So this should be a fun, fun yeah. segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as Alan mentioned, you know, we've been married for 35 years and we've learned some things over the years yeah. and, and <laughs> just how to um, uh, argue right fight fair, yeah. uh, talk to one another and not um, hurt each other. But it was a learning thing. We had to learn that. We didn't come into our marriage already knowing that, right. you know. Exactly. And uh, so we just want to share with you uh, tonight just some things that we learned uh, coming into our marriage. And uh, again, 35 years. And um, and so we learned a lot. And so we just want to talk with you for just a few minutes yeah, about yeah. a couple of things and uh, things we learned, like yeah. our ground rules. Yeah, just a few groundbreaking rules. And these this is out of our experiences. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, no no cussing, no profanity, no loud talking, allowing. That your, we your, learned yeah. early on, <laughs> yeah. you know, not to uh, yeah. come at y- each other yeah. with that. And because uh, yeah, it, it only makes it worse. Yeah, you have to set the, the space for an atmosphere of uh, a safe space right. for your spouse to talk and express their true feelings. Right. Because right, any right. other way, they'll hold back or they'll be apprehensive. Right. And uh, we want the true just the true feelings to come out yeah. in order for us to accomplish something or move forward right, in, right. in our relationships. Yeah. I remember early on, one of the things that when we would, uh, I think when we had like our first couple of arguments, you know, Alan would say, you know, it's just the tone that you use, oh, yeah. you know, remember that? The tone, and, yeah. uh, and so yeah. rather than just put up, well, that's just the way I'm raised or whatever, you know, I had to, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had to uh, adjust. I had to adjust that because... That was the thing that just bothered him. And so I had to like adjust my tone. So there's going to be times when you have to adjust and it does not diminish who you are, but it's like you want to see that marriage grow. So, you know, I had to adjust the way that I came across or talk. And then there was things that I said to him that, (laughs) you know, is what you did is your facial expression when I come to you. And, you know, and so even 35 years later, he's still uh, working on that facial expression. Yeah, still working on that. And uh, that, so that brings us to uh, body language. Yes. You know, not turning away, but facing your your spouse face to face and right. talking body right. language yes. and the way you present yourself because you want to get the truth out right. and you're trying to get to the bottom of yeah. whatever the situation is. You so. know, and what it makes me think about, honey, is like when, when a boxer, when boxers box, right. they can't box each other or fight each other back to back. Right. right. You got to turn around and face the issues and face one another and talk about it. Yeah. So you can't be in your marriage and you back to back. You got to be in your marriage and you be face to face, meaning that you're working on the issues. Yeah. You're talking about the things you are adjusting to whatever needs to be adjusted. And then you're working it out, you know, together. And so that, that was strong, a yeah. strong uh, place for us uh, to learn in our marriage. That's a good, that's a good analogy. Yeah, and yeah. just uh, respecting each other's boundaries yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh, ex- respecting uh, each other's, how they, how they process problems, how right. you process situations, because everybody's yeah. different and uh, no one's the same. So right. if, if they everybody's need, different, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if they need time away for, hey, can you give me a minute right, to come back, to process and then yeah. come back, I'll be in a better state of mind. Sometimes to, you have yeah. to walk away, yeah. you know, when yeah. you have arguments, you have to walk away, you need space, you know, I sometimes I have to walk away and say, you know, hey, I'm just yeah. early <laughs> on, like I need to go in another room and exactly. decompress, you know, decompress. and come yeah. back exactly. when I'm in a better place, a better space. And, uh, and then we pick it back up, yeah. you know, exactly. and, and we continue to yeah. sit, continue the conversation in order to promote the peace, in order to get to the peace. First right. of all. Yeah. <laughs> Working towards <laughs> the peace. <laughs> that is so good. Working towards, towards the, peace. the peace. Yeah. And so one of the thing is that, uh, whenever she, she talks, 
you're, you're <laughs> letting each other talk right. and, and finish it out. However, fin however way it comes up. Letting them finish. Yeah. Like I just broke in on you. Yeah, yeah. Letting them <laughs> yeah. finish what yeah. they have to say. Yeah. That's major. Yeah. That's major. So that comes in. So listening yeah. is another point. Listening. Absolutely. That means Absolutely. you're not interjecting your opinion. You're not interjecting what you think. You're just letting the other, your spouse, your right. love, the one you love, talk. Just let them talk. Right. And right. as they talk, something's going to come out that's significant. Something's going to come out that you hadn't yeah. even seen before or talked about before. Yeah. yeah and yeah, so yeah. you're just allowing each other to just talk. And along the way, um, there may be a situation where there's a problem yeah. or something that I've said that offended her. It may be small to me, but it's huge for Big. her. Big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big. That's, that's one thing we discovered that um, yeah, that's something that's small to her. She may have said something, you know, just matter of fact, but it's huge to me. Yeah, it's, a, it's an important issue to me. So I want I want my full expression right um, to, to to come to be, out to come out and right. to communicate. And and one of the rules is you can't diminish what I can't I feel. diminish. What, what she feels, I feel, right? Because I'm not in her body, exactly. And she can't diminish what I what I feel. Let me feel yeah, yeah. what I feel, right. you know, and and respect that, right. you know. Even though in his mind or exactly. his thoughts, that was a little thing. It's not little to me. Yeah. So let me have yeah. and respect that, and 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 honor that, you yeah. know. Acknowledge, acknowledge, acknowledge that that yeah. it's okay. Oh, okay. I see what you're you're saying. I oh, I hear. Yeah. You, I hear you. So yeah. that is awesome. So, That's awesome. So honey. let them finish it out. Yeah, hear it out. And let you me don't, you don't interject. Finish. Just let them talk. Just let them talk. <laughs> <laughs> let her finish. She let me finish. Yes, <laughs> and let me go to play, no, number two. Here is number two, and here is number three. Yeah, whatever yes. it takes. Whatever it takes. And how it comes out, and then. Uh, we're in a safe place. Yeah. We're not judging. Uh, we're not prejudging. A safe space. We're not giving space. our opinion. This right. is a safe place for me to express what we really want and desire yeah. out of our spouse. Yeah. And so you have a, you have to have room for forgiveness yeah. and yeah, grace. Yeah, yeah. You have to extend grace for uh, your spouse. You have to extend grace and and forgive your 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 um, your husband or wife. You yeah. have to uh, have make just room like in your heart. Us. Yeah, just like God yeah. did for us. Yeah. And whatever it is, right. and, and you can't be bringing up the past. Right, right. Well, you never, and you should, and you should do this. Or remember yeah. when, yeah. You, remember you know, when, especially yeah. if you've already covered yeah. that. You know, don't yeah. go back and try to bring don't that bring back into a new, uh, new argument. You know, yeah, because it's like a club, like you, it's like you're holding a baseball bat. You know, in, in the back, hidden, and then once they say the wrong thing, you're gonna bring that club bring out. It. Well, you yeah. remember. Do you remember yep. years ago we been back in uh, 1792? <laughs> oh God, not 1792. Remember back in 1792 when you <laughs> don't hold the past. Right. God doesn't hold our past, our past against, against us. Against us. He yeah. doesn't. We're not defined by our past. Right. We're defined by what what by what God does yeah. Yeah. in our future. Right. So don't hold that against your spouse. And don't charge for forgiveness. Yes. Don't charge each other for forgiveness. Or if you do this, I'll forgive you. Or if you say this, I'll forgive you. Yes. Jesus forgave us freely. He forgives us freely because he knows we're going to mess up. We're going to yeah. make mistakes. So he forgives us and that forgiveness is free. So why do we charge each other exactly. to forgive one another? Exactly. By, you know, if you do this, then I'll forgive you. Or yeah. if you don't, if, yeah, yeah, if you don't ever go this route again, yeah, I'll yeah. forgive you. No, no, that's charging for forgiveness, which it comes free. Yeah. And and listen, this is all a work in a progress. Work in progress. <laughs> it's an everyday thing. You exactly. know, we said in the beginning, we've exactly. been married for 35 years. Progress. This is just stuff that we have to daily, weekly, yeah. monthly work on. And we're still working. And we're still working. We're still progressing, <laughs> you know, because, you know, we are people. We are human, you know. Yeah. And so Another two humans living together are going to have conflicts at, at times, exactly. you know? Exactly. And so it's just an every day, every week thing. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And don't, uh, don't, uh, don't use the bedroom as a weapon. Yeah. Like if you don't, you know, if you don't, uh, do this, then, you know, we can't have intimacy in the bedroom right, 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 right. as a weapon. Don't use it as a weapon. Right. Just work or it out. She, or she, or she. Yeah. Right. yeah. Don't go to yeah. bed angry. Just, 
try to work it out before yeah. you hit the bed because yeah. whatever, whatever, whenever you sleep on it and whenever you go to bed, it's in your subconscious and you wake up the next morning and that's the first thing that's on your mind, yeah. what you went through yeah. the night before. And yeah. that, that makes for a rough sleep. And it's not, yeah. thank you, I was about to say, yeah, and it's not good rough, rest, yeah. you know, and, I'm, and listen, honestly, there were times when, you know, we were back to back in bed because yeah, we were yeah, mad, you yeah. know. The, the the statement he just made, don't go to bed, it's true. Don't go to bed angry. But we failed at it. Yeah. There were times we failed at it, yeah. you know, but we learned that it's the best way. Yeah. It's the best way, exactly. you know. But exactly. yeah, there were plenty of times that we failed at it where I was like, you know, I'm not budging. And <laughs> he's and not, not budging. Not budging. <laughs> and we were back to back. <laughs> I'm not budging either. Back to back. And, and, you know, and it goes back to that thing that I said yeah, earlier. Yeah. You know, you can't fight the the fight. You can't win the battle back to back. You got to turn around and face each yeah, other, you know, yeah. and deal with the issues and, and deal with the conflict. And if know? it's that deeper issue, you may have to agree to disagree right. and just say, hey, let's let's put this on the shelf and let's in the morning. First thing. Agree to morning, that. Yeah. Agree. You have to mm -hmm. agree to. OK, let's tackle this in the morning because you can't you may not be able to solve all the problems. Yeah in that one time because of the heat of the moment and the, and the complexity of whatever the situation is. Yeah. Uh, so there's not a guarantee, but the, as a rule of thumb, try to settle it before you go to sleep. Right, right. And then and uh, reconcile. And reconcile. Reconciliation, yeah. you know, just coming back together and talking on those things, letting those things get healed in one another, reconcile, come back together so that you can move on to, you know, move on in your marriage and grow yes. and, and be strengthened in your marriage and, and not, uh, as Alan said, harboring, no, you know, bitterness. Yeah, don't harbor bitterness. Don't harbor yeah. bitterness in, you know. Or grudges. Grudges or, yeah. and making checklists, you know, he did this on April 25th. He did this on, you know. Don't do that, you know, and you can, you can even do that in your, your mind. You can even do that in your heart, but just making sure that your you keep your heart right with one exactly. another and don't worry about, you know, just trying to, you know, have the, everybody wants the perfect marriage, exactly. but the perfect marriage is the marriage to get to that point is the marriage that you work at, you work through, you know, and that's a perfect marriage, you know, yeah. and listen, don't. Don't look at what you see on the internet oh and all these, you know, no, you know, no. and I'm not saying they're marriages, but don't get caught up in, oh, I want what, no, you don't know where they really, you don't really know what are. The situation is. Everybody, yeah. you know yeah. what Instagram, they're going to make it look right. Yeah. You know, what's right for you is what you make happen in your home between you and your husband and you and your wife. That's the perfect marriage. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Biblical, godly. Keeping God first. God first. God first. Then your spouse, your children, church, all that. That right there. That is the perfect marriage exactly. because it's ordered by God. Exactly. And yeah. the end goal is reconciliation and unity. Yeah. You're one flesh. You're not two people. You're not two flesh. You're one flesh. Yeah. And, and that's the end goal. You made the, the decision goal. to and, yeah. come together. You, you said, I do. Yeah. Will you take this man to be? Will you take this woman? <laughs> this what do we say? Be. We say it. I, I do. do. <laughs> so the I do, yeah. you know, under that beautiful I do comes all the, the things to help make that marriage strong and beautiful. Amen. You know? And so, yeah, we Amen. said it. You said I do. I said I do. So Amen. we're going to work together. Amen. We're work together. work together. And listen, don't forget to pray together. Amen. That's the foundation of your marriage is praying together, you know, and, um, for us, it, that never was a struggle no. for us, you know, always pray um, together, you know, to pray together. Yeah. And, um, um, but if it is a struggle, you know, for you, because listen, it's real. Some people, um, can do that with ease. Some people, you know, they may work at it. It's okay. You know, pick a day where you say, we're going to just come together for like two or three minutes, four minutes, and just pray. Amen. And Amen. just pray. Husband, pray for your wife. Wife, pray for your husband. And, um, and I, because we know that, of course, that's the foundation of marriage is, is putting God first and, and coming together and, and just praying together and talking and all of that. So do that. Pray with one another. Pray for one another, which we, we already know you pray. I pray for him. He prays for me. 
pray for our children. But how beautiful, how beautiful it is when we, Al and I, come together and we'll join hands. You know, we got like a list of one or two things or three things that we want to pray about. God hears your prayers. The Amen. scripture says where two or three comes together, you know, pray for your marriage, you know, Amen. and let God just begin to keep uh, healing that marriage, blessing that marriage, all of it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Man, you want to pray now? Yeah, yeah let's, let's pray. pray. Let's pray. If you join in with us, Father God, we thank you, Lord, for your goodness, you, mercy, Lord. and grace over the couples, over the marriages. Yes. The foundation, mm -hmm. Lord, of the community, the foundation yeah. of the neighborhoods, Lord, the foundation yeah. of this country. Yeah. Lord, we pray a blessing over Lord, every, over every mm -hmm. couple, Father mm -hmm. God, over every household. Yes. We pray a blessing you, over Lord. every family, you, Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. that you would bring us into a place of unity. Thank you, Bring Father. us, Lord, every couple into a place of agreement, yep. Lord, that... Yep. Lord, we will live, Thank Lord, you, Lord our, our marriages mm -hmm. and our relationships to the glory of God. To the glory of God. And to the glory you, of Lord. your name you, and display Christ and show Christ, mm -hmm. Lord, to this world and to the yes. nation, Father yes. God. And then we just thank you, Lord, for the oh, opportunity. Yeah. We yes. thank you, Lord, for your anointing your leadership and mm -hmm, your grace over mm -hmm, us mm -hmm. and over this country, Father God. Yes, we bless yes, you and yes. we honor you today. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, for greater marriages, greater families, yes. Lord, to make a greater impact, mm -hmm. Lord, on our nation. Thank Lord. you, Lord. And, and Father, I just want to add, Lord, that you would just strengthen every marriage that may be struggling, yes. Lord, right tonight, now. Lord God. We thank you, Father, that your spirit, God, is just going into that home, Lord, and you are working it out, Lord God, and you are healing uh, broken hearts. Yes. You are mending broken hearts, oh God. And whatever the situation is, Lord, just remind them, Lord God, that you are God Almighty, Lord, and Amen. that you brought them together, Lord God, and Father, for a great purpose and a great destiny. And so tonight we just come into agreement yes, for strong Lord. marriages, Lord, strong families, oh God. And we thank you, Lord God, for uh, just even God during this season that we're going to be talking about marriages, Lord, just the testimonies, Lord, that will just come out uh, out of this season, Lord, of marriages just being healed and restored, Lord God, and reconciliation is happening, Lord God, in, in, in all the marriages, Lord, because you love them, Lord God, and it is your heart, so God, the, your heart desire to see marriages flourish and be healed and be whole. And so we thank you for that tonight, Lord, and we give you all the glory and all the honor for great and Amen. blessed marriages Amen. in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thanks, Amen. everybody, Thanks for, so joining for joining us and just hanging out with us in our kitchen, uh, talking about uh, marriage. And um, we, we still love each other. Even oh, after yeah. this, we still <laughs> love each other and still working on, on our marriage yeah. and uh, um, to, to strengthen it and just hopefully that it would just be a blessing uh, not only, you know, for what we share tonight, but even to our children. That's yeah. the thing that we think about. You know, our children are watching us and yeah. we want them to have, yeah. you know, good yeah. marriages. And, and uh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And so, again, thanks for joining us. And um, we hope you have a great rest of the evening. Have a great one. Have a great we love day. you guys. Bye bye.